Lesson 17. Water, a precious resource. You know that water is essential for staying alive. It is useful to us in many ways. About 70% of our earth is water. Water is available on surface in the form of rivers, oceans and lakes. The main source of water on earth is rain. Do you know how the rain occurs? It is a part of the natural process called the water cycle. Evaporation takes place when the sun heats up water in the water bodies and turns it into vapour or steam. When water vapour in the air gets cold, it changes back into liquid forming clouds. This is called condensation. When a lot of water is condensed, clouds become heavy and it rains. Rivers that start from mountains are clean and have clean water. As rivers travel down to plains, they start looking dirty. This is because wastes and dirt are dumped into it. Sewage from towns and waste from factories are also discharged into rivers. People wash clothes, bathe, urinate near lakes and rivers, thus making them unclean and polluted. The water from lakes and rivers is cleaned and treated to remove all types of impurities in a water treatment plant before sending to our taps. The steps involved in water treatment plants are The water in huge tanks is left undistributed so that heavy insoluble particles settle down. This is known as sedimentation. The clean water above the sediment is made to pass through a clean sand bed where it gets filtered. This is called filtration. After filtration, chlorine gas is passed through the water to kill germs. The chlorinated water is then sent to our taps. The water in our taps that looks clean may actually not be absolutely safe for drinking. Germs present in water can be killed by boiling, thus making it safe for drinking. Water can also be filtered with a water filter. Electronic filters remove impurities and kill germs too. Chlorine may also be added to water to kill germs and making it safe for drinking. Water is precious and should not be wasted. Wise and judicious use of water is called water conservation. Collect rainwater and use it for washing clothes and for watering plants. Use the water left in your water bottle to water plants. Get leaking water taps repaired. Do not leave the tap running while brushing your teeth. Use the water in which vegetables and fruits are washed to water plants. Water from the washing machines can be used to wash bathroom floors.